Damn, I got a margin error in my trading account. I'm going to now have to exit my trades manually, right? What? No. Algotest has a provision for this. Really? I didn't know about that. Are you also an Algotest trader, but you don't know about the cool protections and features we have on our platform? Well, in this video, we're going to present eight of the more overlooked features on Algotest. Hi guys, welcome back to Algotest. So like we just said, we're going to talk about eight of the more overlooked features on our platform. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Before we talk about any of the features though, let's first execute a trading strategy. So I've logged into my Algotest account and I'm going to click on Algotrade here in the nav bar. Okay, now here I'm going to search for a strategy, an example strategy that I've built for this video. Click on example and it says example strategy deploy. This is a strategy that I've made specifically for this video. The very first feature we're actually going to talk about is the auto square off on margin feature. Sometimes we may underestimate the margin required for a particular trade or a set of trades. The margin requirement has even increased because the market is very volatile. Any of these things can happen and of course we can make mistakes because we're human beings after all. But Algotest has a feature that's going to exit all your trades in the event that a margin error occurs in your account. And here's how you do that. So once you get to the Algo Trade page, you're going to select the strategy and click on Setup Execution. On the left hand side, you can see there's a button that says auto square off on margin error. So in the event of a margin error while placing this trade, then this will automatically square off your position. By default, this is enabled, but if you don't want to use this feature, we would highly recommend it. Then you can just toggle it to off. And once you've selected whatever option you want, just click on setup execution settings and you're ready to go. So for now, I'm going to just click on setup execution settings and activate this strategy click on activate okay so the strategy is now executing and it is currently executed you can see the mtm live now the next feature we're going to talk about is actually the payoff analyze feature so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to visualize our positions the greeks the max profit max loss equity curve all of these things using this one feature so as you can see over here, it says analyze and this is only going to be available on the live trade page. So I'm simply going to click on this button that says analyze. It loads up the strategy builder and shows me my payoff, my Greeks, my MTM, all of these things. And if you want, you can zoom in further and you can use it as you would normally use the strategy builder feature. All right, guys, the next feature we're going to talk about here is the add leg or square off leg feature. While your trades are running, maybe there is an opportunity in the market that your strategies or your portfolios are not going to take advantage of. So if you see such a scenario like that and you want to take advantage of that, you can quickly add a leg on the fly using our add leg or square off leg feature. This can also help you get a margin benefit or hedge if you so wish to use that. Now, in order to use this feature, you must make sure that you have trades running and only then can you do it. Let's see how you can actually use this feature. So this is a strategy that we deployed. Like I said, I'm going to click on view trades and then over here, you can see it says add leg. So I'm going to click on add leg. It will load up the option chain of the index that you're trading. So these are bank nifty trades that are currently ongoing. So it's opened up the bank nifty option chain. Let's say if I want to add another leg, let's say I want to just sell this OTM call and I also want to sell this other OTM call completely random. Of course, like I said, this is not a trading strategy recommendation. This is just to demonstrate all the features on the platform that not too many people are talking about. So over here, I've added these two legs. I sold a call and sold a put. Basically, I'm selling an OTM strangle and you can add a target profit. You can add a stop loss, real stop loss, re-entry, re-entry on stop loss. You can choose whether you want an NRML or MIS order, market execution or limit order execution. All of these things you can do. And once you've selected everything that you want, or if you want to actually go to the advanced um, panel, you can do that. And I'm just going to hide that for now. After you've done that, all you have to do is click on place order and the orders will be placed. The next cool feature we're going to talk about is the broker level stop loss target profit or trading stop loss. Let's say if you're trading with more than one broker, which is the case for me right now, you can see 
IFL and flat trade, these are the two brokers that are running. Algotest allows you the luxury of adding a stop loss trailing profit or target profit on the basis of what broker you would like to apply that on. These are called broker level settings. Now, it's important to note that this will only apply to the strategies that are traded through Algotest in that particular brokering account but it is not applicable to any manual trades placed in that broking account. So basically, if I've traded a particular strategy or a set of strategies through Algotest on let's say my IFL account, then adding these settings will be applicable to all of those strategies. But if I go to my broker terminal and along with these Algo trades that are executed through Algotest, if I go there and I add a manual trade on my own, then this will not be applicable. Okay, to do this, it's very simple. Once again, on the Algo Trade page, simply navigate to the broker that you would like to add these settings for. So let's say for my example, I want to do this on IFL. I'm going to click on this button that says Add Settings. And then click on Edit. Over here, I can set my stop loss. I can set my target profit. I can choose Lock, Lock and Trail, Trail Stop Loss whatever I want and then after that all I have to do is click on setup and then you're good to go all right guys so for the next feature that we're going to explain we're on the back test page this feature is called no entry after time basically if you're using re-entry this feature will prevent any re-entries after the specified time that is given so when you define the specified time that is the only time it will consider to actually activate this feature. Now let's understand this better with the help of an example. Okay, so this is the strategy that I have set up. I've sold a call and I've sold a put. So I'm selling an ATM straddle with a 30% stop loss and recost of one in each leg, right? Entry time is 9.30 and exit time is 3.15. And I've also selected no re-entry after 250. So there are two scenarios that can happen here. So let's say our call entry was at rupees 200. Now what's going to happen is my stop loss will be 260 points because it's a 30% stop loss, right? So let's say our stop loss gets hit at any time. Let's say at 10 a.m. our stop loss gets hit. Now a re-entry will occur in this leg only if the price goes back to 200 for the call leg and then a trade will be executed to re-enter because we have selected re-cost. Now let's say in this scenario, the recost price that is rupees 200 occurs after 2.50 p.m. If that happens, then the re-entry will not be executed because I have selected no re-entry after 2.50 over here. And that is how this feature works. Case number two is the recost price actually comes before 2.50 p.m. So let's say at 10 a.m. my stop loss was hit of let's of 260 points. Then at somewhere, let's say 11.45 a.m., the price returned back to 200 rupees. And therefore, because this is a time that is less than the 2.50 p.m. that is prescribed over here, the entry will actually be executed. For the next feature, we're going to be on the back test page once again, and we're going to talk about the trailing stop loss, percentage based trailing stop loss. Now, there's been a little bit of confusion in the community about how we actually execute using this percentage TSL feature. Let's break it down. So my leg is a call sell ATM, 20% stop loss, and I've selected trailing and I've selected the percentage option. And I'm going to change this to 10, 10, right? So 10%, 10%. Now, how does this work? So let's say the algo took an entry with the traded price of rupees 250. The stop loss per leg is 20%. So the initial stop loss will be 300. Now, if we're using a TSL of 10%, as is the case in our strategy, then the TSL actually will be calculated from a point that is 250, which is our entry price. So basically TSL percentage will be applicable from the traded price and the traded price here is 250. So if the premium moves by 10% in our favor, then our new stop loss will be 275. So the key thing over here is the TSL feature actually works considering the traded price. The next feature we're going to be discussing is going to be on the backtest page and it's called compare backtests. Let's say you're building a trading strategy and you're trying to add different iterations to see how the backtest result looks when you're adding all these different inputs. So let's say, for example, I'm building a trading strategy 
and I want to try and see which stop loss is better. Maybe a 30% is better or a 40% is better or maybe it's better when I add a trailing stop loss, so on and so forth. Now, if you want to quickly see your previous backtest report, you can do so using this compare backtest feature. Now, let's demonstrate this taking an example. So we're on the backtest page and let's say we're building a trading strategy on the bank nifty index. Again, this is not going to be a strategy recommendation. This is just to show you how this feature works. So we're going to put the entry time as 920, exit time is 315. Let's sell an ADM straddle. Okay, so I'm going to add a stop loss of initially, let's say 30% call and put. So we're selling an ATM straddle at 9.20 a.m. exit at 3.15 in the Bank Nifty Index. Now this is the first version, okay? This is my trading idea. I'm trying to convert it into a strategy. And now I'm gonna see what the results look like. So I'm gonna click on Start Backtest. Okay, so the backtest is complete and these are what the parameters look like. The, we're not really bothered about the strategy results right now. Now let's say, I wanna see if another input can make the strategy slightly better or worse, right? So. I want to see, okay, in 30%, this is the PNL that I'm getting. But what happens if I change my stop loss to 40% instead of 30%? Click on start backtest once again. Okay, the backtest is complete. And now this is what the PNL looks like. However, I don't remember what my previous backtest result looked like, right? And instead of going back and changing this to 30% and this also to 30% stop loss, and then clicking on start backtest again, what I can do is I can make use of the compare backtest feature. So this button over here on the bottom right, it says compare backtest, click on that. And here you can see the previous backtests that you have executed and some of its statistics. So this is the one that we just executed, this 321.38, this is the timestamp of the 40% stop loss we just executed. And this is the first version of the strategy that we back tested. So if I click on load this version, you can see it changes it to 30% stop loss along with its results, right? But if I click on compare back test and I go back to the latest strategy that I have uh, back tested, click on that, it'll load that version for me with the 40% stop loss. Now let's say if I want to see, okay, maybe I prefer the 40% stop loss, but I want to add some sort of trailing. So let's say I'm using percentage trailing and I'm putting it as 10, 10, and here also 10, 10, right? Now let's click on start backtest. The backtest is complete. These are what the strategy parameters look like. Now I'm going to click on compare backtest. And now you can see the results of all three versions. You can see the MTM has overall significantly been reduced by using this trailing stop loss feature for this particular strategy. So I'll simply go back to the previous version by clicking on load this version and I'll continue making iterations, so on and so forth. So the back tests are organized, like I said, from latest to oldest. So this is the latest version I've done, number three, and as it's numbered as well. And this is the earliest one, the 30% one, number one. And that is the beauty of this feature. The last feature I'm gonna talk about today, guys, is the Algo Test official product documentation, or in short, we call this Algo Test Docs. So Algo Test Docs stands for Algo Test Documentation. This is essentially a website where we document our entire product. So we have every feature explained along with a specific video, if the video is already applicable for that. And we break down the usage of every feature and how you can go about activating it. So pretty much every feature that I've discussed in this video is available on the Algodesk Docs website. And the, we'll leave a link in the description below. So let's just take an example of an article. Let's say, I heard from one of my trader friends that compare backtest is a feature, but I don't want to go on YouTube and search for the video because I feel like that'll take some time. So what I can quickly do is just go on Algotest Docs, which is docs.algotest.in. Like I said, I'll leave a, I'll leave the link in the description below and go to the search bar and search for compare backtest. There you go. Compare backtest. Now, this explains the feature in depth. Everything that I explained when I was talking about this feature, it's all mentioned here. And this is a fantastic tool to quickly understand or perhaps take your time reading and understand every feature on the platform. And like I said, there's also systematic presentation 
of all the videos that is relevant to a particular feature. So for in this case, you can see Algodesk product documentation. This is the welcome page and we have the main video, which is a platform door video linked over here. So you don't have to go and find it on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you liked all these cool features that we introduced to you. I'm sure once you start using some or all of these features, you're going to see such a change in your trading. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.